David Stearns joined here with Tamor Hannon. Tamor, you got credit for that first goal. Uh, why don't you take us through how it played out in the 3-2 victory against the Jackals? Well, first, the puck came up the boards, took a weird bounce to the middle. So I just took the puck, looked on net, saw someone going to the net, just put it towards their like stick, skates, feet area, and I just happened to go in. Now, uh, the very physical contest, and uh, you were actually dishing out a lot of hits. Talk about the physical aspect of that game. I mean, you got some good size to you, you know, being one of the bigger guys on the team. Uh, talk a little bit about the physical part of the game. Uh, physically, I think it was kind of even given the size of our team, but I think our defensive core really stepped up and held them, held them down. Now, uh, tomorrow, what are you guys expecting from them? Uh, I mean, it was a tight contest through the finish. I mean, a quick start, 2 nothing lead, about three minutes into the game. Uh, what are you guys looking to do tomorrow to carry the momentum from this win? Um, just like uh, like every weekend when we go up on a team, the next game, they're, they're always going to come out harder. They're, they're going to want it more. So we got to come out and match that and just play really physical. All right, great game, and uh, good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Tamar Hannon for the Potomac Patriots with a goal in the 3-2 to two win against the Jackals. David Stearns joined here with Kevin McDonald. Kevin, talk a little bit about tonight's uh, victory. The three to two, back in the barn here. It's been a while since you guys came back to home ice, but uh, exhibition game, but still a win on uh, home ice, no less. Uh, it felt good. Uh, I think we all played pretty well and uh, got some uh, good uh, scoring chances. We scored early, which usually doesn't really happen for us all that often. And uh, the defense got all the goals, which is a big change. Forward, step up next time, maybe get a couple goals. <laughs> Man, Turgeon. <laughs> Hey, calling players out here, you know, you guys had a 2 nothing lead to start really quick off the draw there, and then uh, things kind of turned the other way as uh, the Jackals responded there and uh, tied it up for, you know, quite some time. Talk about uh, a little bit about uh, the game-winning goal that you put in there and, uh, you know, how that all played out. Uh, Reese has had the puck, and he was curling out of the corner, and uh, I just kind of stepped in a little bit. He passed it over and just took a one-timer and scored uh, bottom left side. And, uh, yeah. Anything out there on the ice that you could tell? Because, I mean, this team comes from an independent league that uh, you guys rarely see at all. Um, any difference in styles between the two teams that uh, came to mind as you were out there? It seemed a little bit physical and chippy here and there. Yeah, I mean, it was a little more physical, I think. But I think they were a lot slower than us. I think we should have beat them by a lot more. I think if we would have played our game for the whole game, it would have been a lot different. What are you guys looking to do tomorrow to make, uh, you know, for another win here at home? Play a full 60 minutes and... Uh, just uh, finish out the game and hopefully come out of here with a big win. All right, congrats on the game winner and uh, good luck tomorrow. Thank you. That's Kevin McDonald for the Potomac Patriots with the game-winning goal against the Philadelphia Jackals. Game two tomorrow at 11.40 a.m. David Stearns joined here with Captain Andrew Turgeon. Turge, what happened in that game there? A 3-2 win, uh, but it got close there towards the end. Uh, a penalty that just kind of came out of nowhere. It just kind of took us all by surprise. Talk to us uh, about what happened in that play. Uh, I was just trying to uh, battle to get the puck out of the zone there. I had two or three guys on me and uh, took a shot to the back of the head and kind of got up and let the frustration get the most out of me. But uh, the guys uh, PK'd pretty hard there. They buckled down. Yutzler made just huge saves all throughout the game, and uh, we got through those two minutes. Uh, being the captain of this team and uh, you know with your leadership, uh, what did you do to keep everyone's heads in the game? I mean, you guys were up 2 nothing early on in the game and then uh, it turned into a 2-2 tie. Uh, what did you guys do to stay disciplined? Because it wasn't a, a penalty-filled game, and it was a lot more disciplined than I was expecting. Uh, no offense to you guys. I, I'm just saying, you know, uh, the things that I've heard about the Jackals, uh, it actually turned out to be just the opposite. Uh, talk a little bit about the leadership that was necessary on the bench to, I guess, keep things together in, leading into the 3-2 victory. All right. Anytime you go up on a team 2 two nothing in the first two or three minutes, you just want to kind of tell everyone, settle down. Like, there's still 58, 56 minutes left in the game. You just want to keep playing the game style we were playing. We were getting the puck high to the D, getting shots, going hard down low, cycling. And, um, yeah, we did good at staying out of the penalty box for the most part. Um, that team, yeah, I heard a lot about penalties from that team too, and uh, they weren't that bad. So the refs did a good job and kept it under control. Although it's just exhibition play, how does it feel to come back here to the home barn after some time and uh, getting a win? I mean, it's been since week one that you guys got a win back here in the home barn. How does it feel? Yeah, it's a long time ago. Um, uh, <laughs> It feels good. I mean, we needed some. We needed a spark in the season. I, we went to uh, Atlanta and got smoked twice, and then went down to Hampton and we lost a tight one on Saturday, and then got smoked on s Sunday. So we needed to have that feeling come back in our stomachs of winning and uh, get the guys going again. And the for unfortunate thing is now we have two weeks off after mm -hmm. this, so we're not going to really have any momentum going. We're going to have to just take a break next week and then get back to a hard week of practice and try to get everything going again. 
Well, how does that, uh, let me pick your brain a little bit here. Uh, you know, you got tomorrow's game to finish out the exhibition weekend against Philadelphia, and then you go into those two weeks off. You got Hampton Roads on the other side, if I'm not mistaken, or I'm sorry, uh, okay. East Coast Eagles. Right. Um, what, what are you guys going to do to uh, prepare for that? I mean, uh, everybody talks about the turkey legs coming afterwards. Uh, are you going to, are you going to diet during Thanksgiving or what, what are you guys going to do collectively as a team to avoid uh, any fatigue on the other side? Well, I mean, this has been probably one of the weirdest seasons I think I've played in juniors with uh, scheduling wise and uh, like play a game and you're off for two weekends or something. So pretty much we're just going to try to get it out of tomorrow with a W, get four points this weekend, uh, even if they're non-league games, and then uh, just maybe take a little break from it and kind of back away, go enjoy families and have a good time at Thanksgiving. But once we come back to that week of practice for those games, they've got to be the best practice we had all year. We've got to be ready to go for East Coast because those are the biggest four points we probably need with, the, with them trailing us by two points or something right now in the standings. Well, good luck tomorrow and uh, enjoy the time off. All right, thank you. Captain Andrew Turgeon for the Potomac Patriots talking about this evening's 3-2 win against Philadelphia Jets.